To zoom into a clip, in Sony Vegas you can cut both ends of the piece that you want to zoom in on and click even pan slash crop, and then resize the box over where you want to zoom in. However, even if you zoom in to an integer multiple it still looks blurry and interpolated rather than being able to see each pixel. This is what you would want for actual camera video footage, or if you were zooming in to a non-integer multiple. However, for a screen recording when zooming into an integer multiple you would want to use nearest neighbor. To do this you will need to download and install the Lager Flossless Video Codec and Virtual Hub. Links will be in the description. Copy the clip that you want to zoom in on into a new instance of Sony Vegas. Make sure that you are zooming into an exact integer multiple otherwise it will look awful. If you are not zooming into an integer multiple then you shouldn't do this. Also make sure that the X position and Y position are set to whole numbers by backspacing the decimal otherwise it may look blurry. Set the project properties to the same resolution that you just zoomed into. Next render that project. Under AVI, select any preset and click Customize Template then change the video format to the Lager Flossless Codec that you just installed. Change the frame rate to whatever frame rate that piece of video is in and change the frame size to use project settings and then render that piece of video. Next drag and drop the rendered video into the virtual hub. Under video, select compression, select lagger flossless codec, then click OK. Under video again, select filters, add and then resize, and then click OK. Type in either the percentage that you have zoomed in or the resolution of your video. Change the filter mode to nearest neighbor, and then click OK. Next either go to file, and then save as AVI or press F7, and then save the file. Then go back into the first instance of Sony Vegas, delete the clip that you copied and replace it with the one that Virtual Hub outputted. If you want to zoom animation, then make a split where you want the animation to start. Go to the other instance of Sony Vegas and copy the clip. Go back to the first instance of Sony Vegas and right click on the clip that you want to animate then click paste event attributes. Then right click it again and click video event pan slash crop. Go to the end of the timeline and click the plus at the bottom. Go to the beginning and right click on the picture and click restore. And here is the end result. As you can see on the screen, recording when zooming into integer multiples nearest neighbor looks better. However, for non-integer multiples you should still use the default interpolation. And for natural video you should still use the default interpolation.